art channel without further ado let's get drawing Everybody, welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to be drawing a really cute bee i just want to say that this video and drawing is inspired by gal sheer um, a super amazing artist so if you haven't yet go and check out his channel um, we're just going to be doing this really quickly it's about a 10 15 minute tutorial so um, it won't take long i'm going to go ahead and I am going to open up a 12 by 12 canvas and I'm going to turn on my symmetry. So go onto your canvas, turn on your drawing guide, edit the drawing guide, turn on your symmetry effect. Make sure you are on your studio pen and go ahead. And for this, you can do oranges, yellows, uh, blues, you know, just kind of be kind of colors. Go ahead and draw a small curve up here, bring it round and drop it down like so. So you have like a shield and then just to drag and drop your colour. Go ahead and add a new layer, turn drawing assist on, choose a different color a darker purple or black turn your studio pen up and then just go ahead and draw out make sure it's underneath this layer and just draw out the legs of the B and then you can just color them in and make them thicker And then you can draw the head. So add a new layer. Make sure you turn drawing assist on. And just do here a very small bump, a squiggly bump. Add a new layer underneath, turn on drawing assist. And then you can do these here for the front of the B. I'm just going to move my whole B up, so I'm just going to group my layers and I'm just going to move him up. I am now going to do my texture and my stripes. So on the body, turn on alpha lock and in the same color, go ahead and draw your B stripes. Oh, okay. This has happened because I'm doing it on alpha lock and not as a clipping mask. So I'm just going to turn that off and I'm just going to add a new layer and click clipping mask. And then now I can just go ahead and draw my stripes. Make sure you fill in the edges so that when you drag and drop, the color doesn't spill out onto your canvas. Like so. I am now going to just merge this layer down and I'm going to add my texture. So I'm going to use my charcoal brush. I'm going to go ahead and use a dark, dark purple, darker than the one that I've been using. It's going to turn my brush up and I'm just going to add some dark texture. I'm going to turn off my drawing assist and just continue adding on one side a darker texture. Then I'm going to go to my yellow and I'm just going to add some highlights and then going to go to my white, turn my brush size down and then add some white i'm going to do the same to the legs so turn on alpha lock go ahead and just do some shadows 
If you've got your drawing assist turned on, then it will automatically do it to both sides. And then again to the head, turn on alpha lock, go ahead and do your dark shadow and your light shadow. And then to the top part, turn on alpha lock and just add your highlights. Okay, now I'm going to go onto my head layer. I'm gonna go back to my inking pen and I'm just going to add two small circles here which are going to act as the eyes i am then going to go back to my charcoal brush i'm going to turn the size right down and in white i'm just going to add here around the eyes and then i'm just going to smudge the texture in like so okay so he's kind of a fat bee but that's all good okay i'm gonna add a new layer on top of all the other layers and i am now going to go back to my inking brush and i'm going to turn on drawing assist now this is where the wings come into play so we're just going to start here, probably on the top stripe, about halfway in the middle. And we're just going to do a curve. I'm going to change my background colour so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I've done a curve up the top. Then we're going to bring a little curve down here. And then you're going to squiggle it. And then you're just going to join it with a curve and then you're going to drag and drop your color so this is going to be the basis for your wings you're going to turn the opacity down and then you're going to add a new layer and you're going to click on the clipping mask you're then going to go to your charcoal and then in a bright white you're just going to turn off your clipping mask just go ahead and in this corner here, just add your texture. Now we're gonna turn the opacity down on this. So, you know. Okay, turn the opacity down. Okay, we are now going to go back to our bottom layer and we are going to add a new layer on top and then we're going to go to our inking pen. This time I'm going to use my gel pen and I'm gonna use white. On my gel pen, my opacity is turned down to about halfway. Uh, go ahead and turn on drawing assist. <clears throat> and then on the very top here, just draw a very thin line And then in the middle, a squiggle. And then just join the squiggle up to the top and the bottom. I'm using the gel pen because it has that, um, you know, that very opacity, transparent look that I'm going for. I'm just going to turn my transparency and my size down even more. And I'm just going to add a few more squiggles here. You can also study a photo reference 
for the wings so that you can really get the the lines perfect okay so that's looking pretty good okay now you're going to go and group again all your layers by swiping right click group duplicate this entire drawing flatten the bottom one go ahead and fill your layer with black make sure you've got alpha lock turned on turn it off once you've filled the layer go to your Corsium blur and just blur not too much about 25 move him this bottom layer to the right and to the bottom and then just turn your opacity down and there you have Mr. B, Bumblebee on Procreate. So thanks for watching. Like I said, go ahead, check out Gail Shear. Um, this was inspired by one of his videos. I love, love watching him draw. So that's it for today and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really helps me in creating more and more, more and more free videos for all of you out there. So if you want to come and join my Procreate group, the links are in the description. I'd love for you to be a member of my group. We can share awesome ideas, tips and artwork. Also, please don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can see what work you've created from this awesome tutorial. So love to you all and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.